Today we are making the cutest, most fudgiest, succulent cake that is filled with chocolate pudding. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off with the cake base. So I am going to grab some flour and pour it into a large bowl. This is a one bowl cake recipe, so make sure that the bowl you're using is large enough. And then we are going to add some sugar. some cocoa powder, and some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then let's just mix it all together. And now it is time for the wet ingredients, which means electric mixer time. Okay, so here is some oil, any kind of oil that you like. You can use coconut or oil or vegetable oil. Some vanilla extract, that was a lot, but that's fine. Two eggs and the most exciting part, which is the chocolate pudding. So you can use any kind of chocolate pudding that you like. You can use homemade, you can use store-bought. If you'd like a really good chocolate pudding recipe, I will link it up top. That recipe also contains some other buttercream succulents, so if you want a bit of variety and you wanna add a different succulents than what we're making today, definitely check that out. And let's mix. Okay, so this is pretty thick and I've mixed it like 50% of the way because there's still flour at the bottom. And now we're gonna add some hot water. Let's pour the water in and I just boiled some in my kettle so it can be like freshly boiled, that's fine. Look at how rich that looks, oh my God. So I have three six inch round cake pans and I greased them with cooking spray and I sprinkled some cocoa powder on the inside. I usually use flour, but for chocolate cake, you can use chocolate instead or like cocoa powder instead. Divide the batter between the bowls. And if you've made the version of this recipe that uses milk instead of pudding, the cooking time might be a little different. So keep an eye on it. Make sure that you stick a knife in the middle and if it comes out clean, then that's ready. And also like the surface should look nice and cracked. So while the cake's bake, it is succulent time. So I have my vanilla buttercream ready to go. And this buttercream is the perfect stiffness for piping succulents. That was harder to say than it should have been. So I'll link the recipe here for you if you'd like. And I hate dyeing buttercream multitude of colors. It's just like my least favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna make it really, really simple for us. Um, you need three different shades of green, two accent colors of your choosing, brown, and then we're leaving the rest white. That is it. So it is succulent piping time, and you're gonna see on the screen all the different piping tips I'm using and how I filled the piping bags to get these particular looks. So a really handy technique is just putting one color on the kind of on the walls of the piping bag and then filling the piping bag in the middle with a different color. And that will give you the really pretty like duo color kind of thing that succulents have. And when you are piping them, you wanna cut little squares of parchment paper and put them on something you can rotate. Add a dollop of buttercream to stick the parchment paper down and then just rotate as you pipe. And then after your succulent is done, you can put it on a tray and then pop it into the freezer. Freezer not fridge because the freezer will give you a much stronger set. And I don't even know what the heck I'm trying to do. Like, this is, this is a cabbage? Like, what? And you can see I'm making some cacti, which is really, really cute. It's buttercream time, chocolate buttercream time to be specific. So two cups of butter, let's just, oh my God, whoa. And now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and you can also add a dash of like coconut extract if you'd like, that would be so good. Mix it in. Now we have some icing sugar, so we are actually so add that in one cup at a, whoa. whoa. This is why you add one cup at a time and slowly. 
right, so now we have our cocoa powder. And if you're used to my buttercream recipe, my vanilla buttercream recipe, you'll notice that we're just using less cocoa powder and substituting it, no, we're using less icing sugar and substituting it for cocoa powder. And that's what's gonna make this taste delicious. But also, one more thing. Directly into here, we are going to add some milk. And this is gonna make it so creamy and the buttercream is looking a little dense. This will smooth it out a little bit too. All right, and look at that rich chocolate buttercream. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the cakes are fully baked and I have leveled off the top. We want them all to be flat. And like, can I just say, this is the spongiest, most moist, slightly dense cake I have ever made. The use of the pudding instead of milk, quick and life-changing. Like, what else can we substitute for milk? That's gonna be a new theme here, obviously. I take about half a cup of buttercream, and so roughly the amount of buttercream that you would use to fill one half. And I'm gonna add the same amount of chocolate pudding. Mix it together. So I put some of the chocolate buttercream that doesn't have pudding into a piping bag. It just snipped off the end. Is we are going to pipe a border, and this is going to keep the pudding buttercream inside the cake because it's a little softer, and we don't want it like seeping out the side. So let's just scoop. So you can see it's quite soft and like there's a huge chance it's just gonna spill off the sides and then our cake would slip around and it would be a mess. Now because this is a succulent cake and succulents are in soil and soil has texture, I wanted to kind of incorporate that into the cake. So for those of you who are watching who are Europeans, you will appreciate this. I got some Kinder Bueno and I chopped it up roughly and I'm gonna just divide it between the layers. And then on top of that, I'm gonna sprinkle on some mini chocolate chips. And we're using mini just because like, it's more kind of, it looks like rocks instead of just screaming like chocolate chips immediately, right? You can see how dark the base is. That's because I dusted the cake pans in cocoa powder instead of flour. And let's just repeat the same thing over again. So now we're gonna coat the cake in a thin layer of buttercream. So this is called a crumb coat and oh god. Okay, so I chilled it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and now I am going to coat it in, in a thicker layer of buttercream. And now we are finally at the fun part. So I'm gonna grab some graham crackers that I just tumbled up in a food processor. We want this to look like sand and dirt but not too much because we still want the succulents to stick to the cake. And I'm also going to add some chocolate chips for texture, but I'm gonna do it in like certain areas. So our succulents are clearly frozen solid, so that means we can handle them, but you do wanna work quickly because they will still, they will start to soften at room temperature. So we're simply just gonna peel it off and stick it on. Look at it. And let's continue with the rest of the top of the cake. And I'm trying to stick them on the sides. I'm honestly terrified as I'm doing this. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, but we are sticking them on the sides of the cake, which is why we want a generous layer of that chocolate buttercream because we're using that as glue. This is also why we froze the succulents because as you can see, as I press them on, they are not budging despite my super warm hands. You also want to keep the other succulents in the freezer while you're like building the cake because you know they will soften at room temperature. And if you have some space in between the succulents and you want it to look a little bit more like it's kind of grown together, you can use some of the extra buttercream from your succulents. Save like half a piping bag. You don't need a lot. Oh my god, it's time to slice it. I am so tired. Okay. Are we ready? Oh my god, that is the largest slice of cake in the world. Okay. Okay. Ooh. And that you can see like the Kinder Bueno there. And I'm sure it's like buried in here too. Mmm. It is so fudgy and rich. Oh my gosh. So the buttercream recipe for the succulents, I'll link it here. And I will link my succulent terrarium in the description box. So definitely check those both out. And I'll see you guys on Saturday for a new video. Bye.